டுடே இஸ் டே செவன் ஆஃப் நவராத்திரி சப்தமி டே செவன் எயிட் அண்ட் நைன் இஸ் டெடிகேட்டட் டு த வர்ஷிப் ஆஃப் மா சரஸ்வதி அண்ட் த பிரசாதம் ஃபார் டுடே வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு மேக் கேர்ட் ரைஸ் கேர்ட் ரைஸ் இன் தி லலிதா சஹசிரமா ஐ திங்க் இட் இஸ் நாமா ஃபைவ் ஒன் டூ வேர் தேவி இஸ் வர்ஷிப் டேஸ் தத்யன்னா சக்த ஹிருதயா விச் மீன்ஸ் ஷி இஸ் ஒன் ஹூ இஸ் ஃபாண்ட் ஆஃப் ததி வித் அன்னம் தட் இஸ் கேர்ட் அண்ட் ரைஸ் So, we will prepare that Naivedyam and offer it as a bhog to Devima. For this, I have taken one cup of raw rice. We will wash it and bring it back. In the pressure cooker, I am adding two cups of water and one cup of milk. Totally three cups for one cup of rice. Now, add the washed rice. See, the milk and water is coming to a boil. Add the washed rice to it. Cook it on a low flame for 15 minutes. Allow the pressure to release completely by itself. Now, let's open the cooker. See, the rice is done very well. Now, you can just lightly mash it a little bit. I am adding a little bit of salt. Mix it well and allow it to come down to room temperature. Now when it has cooled completely to room temperature, here I have some fresh homemade curd. First, beat it very well with a whisk so that it becomes nice and creamy. Now add this curd little by little and mix it very well. We have mixed the fresh curd and rice well together. Now I am adding some grated ginger to it and also two green chillies chopped. Some fresh coriander leaves and some fresh curry leaves also. Just tear it up and add it to it. Now mix all these well together. Now in a kadai, heat a tablespoon of oil, then add some mustard seeds, urad dal, chana dal, some cashew nuts, stir fry them till the dals are a nice brown color. Now one black pepper has fallen in but actually in some temples they do add some whole black pepper also to this uh, tadka or tempering so that's no issue it's fine. Now pour this tempering over the curd rice. Now our perfectly done creamy curd rice is now ready to be offered as naidedium. நமஸ்தி சர்வமங்கள மாங்கல்யே சிவே சர்வார்த்தசாதிகே சரண்யே திரியம்பிகே கௌரி தேவி நாராயணி நமோஸ்துதே டுடே இஸ் த செவன்த் டே ஆஃப் நவராத்திரி ஓவர் த பாஸ்ட் சிக்ஸ் டேஸ் வி ஹேவ் சீன் ஹவு வி கேன் இன்வோக் த டிவினிட்டி வித் இன் அஸ் வை டு வி நீட் டு இன்வோக் திஸ் டிவினிட்டி பிகாஸ் த பவர் ரெஸ்ட் வித் இன் வை டு வி நீட் திஸ் பவர் We need this power to destroy all the evils within and around us. We need this power in our everyday life, in the everyday context too. Every day you need power to decide. You need power to discern. You need power to tolerate maybe those around you. You, may, you need power to face challenges maybe in your workplace too. You need power... even to let go 
Let go not only of material possessions, but let go of any grudges you may have also. And sometimes we also need power to withdraw. So, some situation might blow up out of proportion at home during a conversation. Then a point reaches when we say, okay, just quietly withdraw from that situation so that everything is diffused and everything is peaceful and calm again. So all these powers which we need every day, whatever role we play, we get it from Ma Shakti only. Now on the seventh day of Navratri, Ma Durga is worshipped as Kalaratri. Kal refers to time or even as death. Ratri can mean night or even darkness. So Kal Ratri is the one who brings the death of darkness. Here darkness can also mean ignorance or the dark night or darkness of ignorance. We have all heard that Asatoma Sadgamaya Tamasoma Jyotirgamaya lead me from darkness into light so that all our ignorance is destroyed and we get the real knowledge and wisdom. Now this Kalaratri, there is a story behind. Once there were two demons by the name of Shumbha and Nishumbha who were causing a lot of havoc. So they, Shumbha and Nishumbha, once attacked uh, Swarga, the kingdom of uh, Indra, Indra Loka. And then Indra was defeated and then they ran to the Himalayas to seek Ma Parvati's help in fighting Shumbha and Nishumbha. Ma Parvati then sent another form of hers known as Chandi to fight Shumbha and Nishumbha. And in the battlefield, Shumbha and Nishumbha sent two more demons, Chanda and Munda. Then Ma Durga created one more form as Ma Kali, a very very terrorizing form and she killed Chanda and Munda and later came to be known as Chamundi. Then the, all this we have done in our last year when we did the Durga Saptashati and uh, the year previous also on the Chandi part. If you like you can go back and have a look at those videos to understand the complete story. Then another demon was sent, Asura. His name was Raktabija. Now Raktabija had this particular boon from Brahma that whenever a drop of his blood would fall on the ground, another look-alike of Raktabija would be created, which meant Rakta Bija. Rakta meaning blood, Bija meaning seed. So every time a drop of his Rakta or blood fell on the ground, as a seed from that would sprout up another Asura just like Rakta Bija, similar to cloning. So when Devi was in the battlefield and she was fighting this Rakta Bija, every time she threw her weapon at him, a drop of blood would fall and another Rakta Bija. So there were thousands and thousands of Rakta Bija which Devi had to fight against. Then in order to kill Rakta Bija, Ma Kalratri drinks up the blood of Rakta Bija before it is able to fall on the ground and she uh, kills Rakta Bija. Chandi also then kills Shumbha and Nushumbha and they are defeated. Indra gets back to gets back his kingdom and all the gods, uh, devas are again happy. Ma Kalratri is represented as a very terrorizing form of Devi. She has got a dark complexion and a lot untied, uh, bountiful hair and in her four hands she holds a smitter and thunderbolt in two of her hands and the other two of her hands are both blessing and protecting. She has a necklace which shines like the moon at night. She is shown as wearing a garland of her skulls also. She breathes fire through her nostrils. To the evil, she is an absolutely terrorizing form. At the same time, she also has a very auspicious form towards her devotees. She destroys all their sorrows and she is also known as Shubhankari. 
and her uh, mount is a donkey. Idols or images of Ma Kal Ratri are sometimes very scary also. But that is to destroy the evil. Towards her devotees, she is all auspiciousness and very very benevolent towards her devotees. Just as Mahishasura had got a boon that uh, no one except a woman could kill him. And finally it was a woman who became the reason for his defeat. And dead Shumba and Shumba underestimated the power of a woman. And uh, the story goes that initially they sent a messenger. Think, ah, what can a woman do? And then that messenger whose name is also Sugriva. Not to be confused with the Ramayana Sugriva. So and that uh, messenger comes to Devi and says, Oh beautiful woman, why don't you just come over and marry her? either Shumbha or Nishumbha, they will give you so much of wealth which you cannot even dream of. You can lead a luxurious life. Why do you want to stand in battle like this? Why don't you just come over? And Devi just uh, plays with them and says, Yes, it's not a bad idea. I could have done it. But you know what? Foolishly, I took up a vow saying only the one who was equal to me in the sense that who can conquer me in battle. I will marry only that person. So please tell your king Shumbha and Nishumbha to come and face me in battle. So that aside, what does this really show? Kal Ratri shows the destruction of the ego within us, of the illusory self-centered reality. So you need to release your need to control, transform your ego into love. So, Kalratri is nothing but the destruction of the I, you know, the capital I, destruction of the ego within you. So, let us all pray to Ma Kalratri to bless us with all auspiciousness. Mahapiriva Sharanam. And uh, tomorrow we will meet again with another interesting episode from Navratri.